Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 15th tutorial in this course. In this tutorial, we'll be beginning our discussion on links. And, uh, you know, the internet wouldn't have been what it is if, uh, you know, we didn't have this feature of including links in our websites, right? So the fact that uh, there are so many websites uh, on the internet and they all have links to one another, uh, you know, makes the internet a web actually, right? So. Uh, it's very easy in HTML to include links in web pages. So we're going to see how we can do that. So over here I have uh, an HTML document and uh, you know I have the doc type declaration on line number one and then between the opening and closing HTML tags I have uh, the head section, the body section. The title of this web page is all about links part one and I'm you know planning to have like three four tutorials on links to cover all you know aspects of uh, the anchor tag in HTML, which is a tag that we use to uh, include links in our web pages. So that's the title. And then in the body section, I have uh, a paragraph and uh, the paragraph just has the text pain tourism, right? So what I have uh, done is I have included this text and uh, for this text, I have a link. So if you would click on the text, you would be redirected to, you know, this website, spain.info. Right. And uh, the tag that I have used to uh, create a hyperlink of this text is uh, the anchor tag or the a tag. You know, that's what it's called. And uh, it's more popularly known as the anchor tag, actually. And then there is an attribute of this tag, which is, uh, you know, very important. And uh, it's called href. And uh, you have to set the value of this attribute uh, to the URL to which you want uh, the link to take you. So, you know, in this case, since I want to be redirected to www.spain.info, I have typed in this and you also have to type in HTTP colon and two slashes, right? So if you just type in www.google.com, let's say for instance, then you won't be uh, taken to Google, you'll get an error. So you need to have the entire uh, URL here. And, uh, you know, then to close the tag, I have just typed in slash a at the end of the text. So I'll save the file and I'll open it in my web browser. And uh, this is how it looks in uh, Google Chrome. So you can see that the text Spain tourism, although I've just used the paragraph tags for it, it isn't, you know, simple text. If I would, uh, you know, take the pointer over it, I would see the, uh, you know, type of pointer being changed to the hand, right, which is an indication of the fact that it's a link. And uh, if I would click on it, then I would be uh, taken to the website www.spain.info, as you can see in the URL bar here. And uh, my internet, for some reason, is, is really giving me problems now. And uh, it's very slow. So anyway, uh, that's you know about the anchor tag it's a very brief introduction of the anchor tag actually and uh, we'll be checking out more attributes more uh, you know values that you can assign to uh, the href attribute in the coming tutorials and uh, i hope you guys had fun in this tutorial and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you in the next video till then take care